Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. So remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind that this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in the description box for my channel. And you can also email me at aceofcupzero at yahoo.com. Okay. So let's see. What is going on? Ooh. Someone's about to get a gift. The Ace of Wands here. Someone is rushing in with the Knight of Wands. There could be some sort of communication that is going to be coming in quickly about a gift or something being returned to somebody. Somebody is scrambling. So somebody is like rushing, um, like losing their shit. Like it's like running around with a, like a chicken with your head cut off energy. Like someone is rushing to do something quickly regarding a gift. Um, something could be time sensitive. So we have the page of cups here. So somebody could be admiring you and want to rush in and offer some sort of gift. Possibly before somebody swoops in and, um, you know, takes the opportunity away from them. Um, we have the hangman. So someone could be taking a moment to pause and reflect about this offer. Or they could be taking a moment to realize that they want to build and move forward with you. Um, so they could be deciding that they want to move forward, you know, pursuing something with you. And they may want to give you a gift as like a sign of good faith or good favor, something like that. Oh, so somebody rushed in with some sort of lie regarding your work with the Knight of Swords. So somebody lied about your work or what you do for work. They could have lied um, to your work, like your employer about you. You have an offer coming towards you in justice. So you have an offer um, possibly that you've been waiting for patiently or impatiently for, um, you know, but you have justice coming for you. Let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> Let's see who this offer is going to and who's making this offer and what it's about, shall we? Mm, so somebody got a message of concern. So this could be about the lie that somebody rushed in and told about your work or what you do. This could even be about like how much money you make regarding your work. So somebody could have thought maybe you had more money than you really do. Or like it's anybody's business how much you make. But um, somebody could have lied about what you do as well. They could have misrepresented what you do. This message of concern can also be about you coming into the cold, or this message of concern could be about somebody headed into the cold. So take that how it resonates. Let's see if we can't find out who this is going to be for. Ah, so there's a king of swords. So there's a king of swords who lied, you know, which is fitting because we had the knight of swords come out. So, you know, true to, um, you know, the cards and the energy um, this person's a liar. They're very cold-hearted, um, very dishonest. Um, they're not thinking with their brain. Um, somebody got a message of concern about this person, or this person got a message of concern about you coming out of the cold. So this person could have lied possibly to keep you stuck regarding your work. Um, they could have tried to affect your work in some sort of way. Or maybe they thought they were going to get some sort of finances or something from you because of your work. Maybe they thought you were going to be a sugar mama or a sugar daddy kind of situation. Something like that. Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying. Somebody lied about your money or what you do for some reason. So you're coming out of this five of pentacles because of your strength, courage, and perseverance. So you could have been left out with nothing, you know, to fend for yourself. And you've had to have strength and courage to get through this. Yeah, somebody was a gold digger, queen of pentacles, and someone is getting educated about this. So there's someone who is getting educated with the page of swords. There's a message of truth that's being exposed.
Yeah, and this is about an injustice. So this King of Swords caused an injustice. A pretty big one, it looks like. Because you could be working on your finances. You know, you planted your seeds. Something is growing for you. Um, you know, maybe not as fast as you'd like it to, but it's growing. You know, you planted your seeds. You're working on your foundation. You're working on building something from the ground up. You know, you started from the very bottom and started working your way up. And someone is getting educated about this, that you are a natural born leader, that you're the queen of wands, that you're the boss, that you're a boss energy, you know, and somebody was evil and they were creating illusions. So somebody was a pain in your ass and this person was just really dark and evil and they were working with somebody else. They wouldn't stop daydreaming about ruining your life and your happiness. It's trying to stop you from getting a 10 of cups. Like somebody was constantly daydreaming and thinking about ways to keep you from being happy and achieving a ten of cups like stability family stability happiness and they lied there was a message of communication information so there was some sort of um, miscommunication or misuse of information with the page of wands here that was meant to affect your financial stability so there was some sort of communication about your employment or to your employment um, about something and there was an illusion that was created by a liar and this person was very dark and evil about what they were doing as well so there's definitely some underhanded motives going on here but you're going to get the offer you've been waiting for it may have been slow coming but you're moving on to calmer waters and we have the chariot so something is in motion there's an emperor here and they want to work with you and they could have had like a team put together like you know the think tank is what I'm hearing there's a group of people here that want to work together to help you climb up out of this pit you may be in, in that Five of Pentacles. But there's a masculine energy here that wants to come towards you or is already in motion towards you. This person may want to help you out in some sort of way. Yeah, you get to start over. You're a clean slate. So you have a clean slate coming. You can do whatever you want, be who you want to be. Um, like I said, you're working something from the ground up. So you're building something on your own. You started from scratch to do something and you have a new cycle. You're in a new cycle or you're starting one. You're going into one. Somebody wanted you to be juggling finances. Somebody wanted you to not be able to get caught up to pay off your bills. Somebody intentionally was causing harm, um, regarding your employment to stop you from making finances. They had something to gain from this. They were trying to keep this a secret. They were trying to keep it hidden that they're evil, the star in the reverse again, and that they're bitter, you know, because they're not sweet and they're not tasting that sweet life. So they're bitter because they didn't get what they thought they were going to get out of a situation. So maybe this person thought they were going to get something from a divine femur masculine and they're very upset that they didn't get what they thought they were going to. And so they're trying to ruin you, especially your money, because I'm guessing they wanted money. This is a tyrant, an emperor in the reverse. <coughs> this person's very bitter and hateful. So the husband, um, you know, a husband figure, lover, father figure, you know, and they're in the reverse. So they could be past or um, they could just be somebody who's a pain in your ass or was a pain in your ass. And they caused injuries to you. With the Nine of Wands here, this person caused you severe injury, especially financially. There's Nine of Wands. There's communication that's coming towards you. There's some sort of information, communication um, that, could <clears throat> that could possibly want to help you fight something. With the Seven of Wands here, you're fighting a lot of battles on your own, single-handedly. You know, Like I said, you may have been left to fend for yourself, and that's exactly what it looks like. And there's a King of Wands here. And you came out as the Queen of Wands, so this could be your divine partner here. And there were secrets being kept, you know, about how this tyrant, this emperor from the past was hurting you and caused you a lot of heartache, pain, and loss um, just because they're bitter. I mean, they're just so full of, like, piss and vinegar, like, just hate, envy, greed. <clears throat> and because of this... They were heavily burdening you. This person is the high priest or priestess in the reverse, and they're a karmic. This person was a thief. This is somebody that you don't have fond memories of. This is somebody who was expecting to get a nine of pentacles off of you. So somebody was expecting to get a big chunk of change off of your back. Okay? They could have gotten a nine of pentacles from you. So you don't have fond memories of this person because they're a thief. They stole money from you. 
Somebody wants to help clean up a betrayal here, and there's some sort of swift action that's going to be taken. There was a very emotional situation that was created, and you're going to get a message. The Page of Wands, there's a messenger. So someone is going to receive a message about... I, I don't know. There was the one that came out the very first card, and then we have the wand in reverse here. So there's a very emotional situation. This wand could be something of value that was taken from you. And this could even be your freedom. I mean, somebody wanted to get you locked up so they could take your wand. They wanted to keep you trapped so they could take something that didn't belong to them. And they were using very manipulative and underhanded tactics to do this. And that's why they brought judgment on themselves. Yeah, someone's a snake. Someone's a cold-hearted snake. And that's in the upright. So this person's in your energy, like, right now. So someone could be finding this out, that somebody is a snake, and they're trying to just devour you and, like, take everything from you. And this could be involving a child. This could be your wand. This could be what's important to you, what you value. And someone was disguising something. Someone's wearing a disguise. And someone could be just acting childish. It doesn't have to be involving a child, but somebody could just be acting childish, wearing a disguise, hiding something. There's someone that's hiding something involving a child. They're wearing a disguise. Um, they could be in poverty because of a child. So someone could be in poverty because they were fighting for their child against a snake as well. You know, this is a collective read, so this could go a few different ways. And someone is watching just so they can throw another ball at you. So someone is watching just to throw you another curveball and fuck up your shit. There's a feminine energy in the reverse that could be connected to this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Don't tell me this is a mother and a father figure or, you know, your mother and your ex, whatever. Yeah, somebody's shit fell off. Somebody got exposed. So somebody got exposed for the snake that they are. They've been revealed. So... This mask that they were wearing, these clothes, they, they hid the person for so long, but they fell off, and here's what we have here now. The snake. It's a, They're exposed. Like It's like they're standing there buck naked. This person was just trying to keep you trapped. There was no other reason except this person was evil, and you're innocent. You know, maybe you're younger, you don't have to be. But somebody could have taken you for a fool. Maybe they thought you were naive and an easy target. But it's like a snake trying to devour somebody who's innocent. You could be entering into a period of rest here soon. There's a situation. Possibly involving some sort of property. You know, the model here. There could be property involved in something here. Um, so you could be, um, getting some sort of property or something that's going to help you rest and relax. Something was about a child. So somebody may have also been arrogant and cocky because they had a property and you didn't. So this person could have tried to make you lose your job so that you were homeless, so you didn't have a job so that they could take your child from you. Yeah, you're the boss. Home is where they understand you, your majesty. So you could be seen as someone who is held in high honor, you know? Um, you're the king of your castle, no matter if it's a cardboard box under a bridge. You know, you handle your business, you take care of your shit, you're the king or queen of wands in the upright here. So 
So somebody wasn't happy in a relationship or a situation here. They were hiding who they were. They were disguising themselves. So there was some sort of partnership. Somebody was hiding who they were. Somebody got really pissed off. Because somebody just looked a little too relaxed. And so they jumped at the opportunity to mess up their shit. It's like this, this person can't stand to see you happy. <sighs> They're so miserable. This emperor in the reverse. This tyrant energy. They're such a sadistic dick, man. Somebody could see you as perfect. You know, lasagna's most perfect food. So I'm, I don't know. Nobody's perfect, but somebody may see you that way. Coolness is a curse. They see you as calm, cool, collected. You're not losing your shit. You know, somebody feels like they're wasting their time. Feel free to waste my time. They feel like they could be wasting their time because they may see you as like drop dead gorgeous or something. Or you may see this other person, somebody like that. But it says never trust a smiling cat. So somebody might, may have felt like they were wasting their time because somebody couldn't be trusted. Maybe they were attractive or maybe they thought you weren't attracted to them enough. Um, so somebody may have looked at you like you were perfect or you looked at somebody like that. And somebody felt like they were wasting their time because they couldn't trust somebody. But this person could be goo goo gaga over you. So you may have misjudged somebody. Just because, you know, some people do have some issues with trust after what y'all have been through. I mean, that's understandable. You may still be going through shit. Especially after what this, you know, King of Swords did to you. Especially if it involved your children or something. saw one flip over and I kept trying to get back to it and I couldn't see it. All right, I'll try one more time. There it is. There we go. I knew I saw some. So somebody didn't want to offer you your flowers, you know? Someone's getting a message. So somebody, you know, somebody's getting a message about somebody that was not nice to you. They were not caring. They were not compassionate. This person just wanted to see you miserable, unhappy, unhinged. But somebody sees that you're knocking something out of the park. Like, there's a love connection here that could literally be like a home run. Like, a divine connection here. And that came out kind of sideways because I was thumbing through the deck to find it. I wanted to look more towards upright. I feel like it was more upright before I turned my deck sideways. So, I'll just turn it upright. So, somebody feels like you're knocking it out of the park with love. Or you're doing something and, um, I don't know, you could be getting a message. You could be getting communication about somebody who wants to knock a home run with you and you know make you a love offer possibly or you want to do this with somebody else or you feel this way towards somebody else i should say <clears throat> anything else before i move on here Yeah, so somebody was definitely somebody that um, you may have been. Hmm. So this could have been somebody that you were possibly intimate with in the past. I don't. I don't know if it was a full blown relationship, but I mean, it could have been. But this is in the reverse. I mean, there's a lot of pillows there. This could have been somebody that, you know, you maybe shared a bed with or something at some point. Um, but they didn't offer you flowers. But you could be getting a message that, like, they are crazy about you or they've been watching you or that they have feelings for you. You know, it doesn't have to be necessarily somebody that, like, screwed you over. I mean, I don't know how this ended. But you're coming out of the wilderness, so somebody wants to help you 
get out of this bullshit, this shit storm that you're in. I'm hearing you were never supposed to end up that way. I mean, I just... Someone is shocked that something happened the way it did for you. And they can't believe it. Like, somebody is in disbelief about how a situation went down. Did I truck 300 bales of hay in a parking lot to rectify some childhood disappointment? Yes. So look at you, shining here like a star. You know, you healed your childhood wounds. You're shining like the star that you are. You did the work. You put the work in, and you've earned that little smile. You know, take a minute. Pat yourself on the back. You did it. And someone can't believe this shit. Someone's proud of you. Like, I'm, I'm strongly getting somebody feels proud of you for something that you've accomplished. Somebody that's known you. You know, and just because I say somebody from the past, you know, it doesn't have to be somebody from this past, you know. Um, it could be a past lifetime, you know, so don't get hung up on that. I'm not taking anyone from the past back. Fuck around and find out. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing else. All right. I'm going to move on to my message cards then. Seriously, though, pat yourself on the back. Somebody, Somebody's really proud of you at how far you've come, how you healed something. And it's all in divine timing, baby. And there's a betrayal here. Mm, there was a co-worker that was linked up with a secret society, a religious group, or a cult. I'm sure you're not shocked. Yeah, somebody didn't think that this was serious. No big deal that there weren't going to be consequences. So this co-worker was working with this group, religious group, cult, society, whoever this is. And they didn't think something was a big deal. Um, find someone to love you. I don't. So somebody betrayed you. And you don't want to deal with them anymore. And this could have been in the last one to three months. That, or there's something significant about the next one to three months. You know? Uh, depending on the timeline, just because it's in the reverse, and I usually look at that as past. When it comes to dates, it could be uh, past or future, because the timelines, not everyone's on the same. So it could be the past one to three months, or the next one to three months, but something, there's one to three months that's significant. And for some of you, it's just going to be a matter of days before your soulmate contacts you, or you hear from your soulmate, and it's going to be like just in the nick of time. Something's going to happen... When you, oh God, yeah, it's, it, it may be shocking to you. You may not be expecting this. <clears throat> somebody doesn't know that they're being watched. So there was somebody here that uh, it could be this group, this organization, because that's in the reverse. So this organization may have been being watched or under surveillance like heavy for the last one to three months. Your soulmate could have been part of this surveillance team or something. Um, yeah, you told somebody to leave you alone and they've been being watched. So somebody that you ghosted or ghosted you, they've been being watched. There's going to be a raid drug bus SWAT team. It's been coming out and it feels like it's getting really close to that. It hasn't happened yet. Whatever, and like this, this shit right here, this part hasn't happened yet. You know, somebody was really anxious. I blocked you or you blocked me. So somebody that you blocked or that blocked you is about to get raided. Yeah. They could have made you cry or wanted you to be crying. Cry me a river. They may not have cared if you cried. Maybe they enjoyed it. I don't know. This king of swords in the reverse was very cold hearted. Like very cold hearted. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> You're being set free. Free and easy and free as a bird. You're going to be set free from a situation. Like literally. Um, 
man, some something is going to happen literally like, uh, yeah, someone thought they had an ace up their sleeve. Somebody thought they had an ace in the hole. But you're the stuff dreams are made out of, and someone sees that about you. They are impressed. They admire you, your work ethic, how you love, how you take care of yourself, how you fight to survive. Oh, my God. Like, you're just a beautiful person inside and out. You know, you're the queen or king of wands. You, you're passionate about what you're passionate about, okay? And you're very protective over what you're passionate about. And people can take that the wrong way. People can take you as aggressive when it's not aggression at all. It's passion. Oh, yeah. So the law is involved, okay? So you are seen as the stuff dreams are made out of, and the law sees that. So whoever was investigating this knows that you're innocent. You didn't do shit, and you didn't deserve shit that happened to you. And somebody was just putting on a dog and pony show. So be careful not to step on anyone's toes. Um, or this person could be careful not to step on your toes. They're treading lightly. You may not even know that this person has been watching you or helping you out. Um, they have not revealed themselves to you as of yet, I feel like. Uh, because it said in a matter of days. So all in divine timing. Something is, I'm telling you. If you've been, you know that song by Jelly Roll, God, I need a favor. Um here's your favor and you know it's not like a little favor i mean this is like gonna save you in some sort of way yeah somebody thought something was cute putting on a dog and pony show that like they thought it was cute to do this shit it's not cute they're like oh yeah it's so funny to ruin other people's lives no bitch sir it's not Yeah, they were beating a dead horse. I mean, they just, they're an idiot. I mean, there's just, there's just no other way of putting it. And Aries could be significant. This person was not sincere. Saturday could be significant. A Taurus could be significant. A Taurus could be the boss. Or a Taurus could be seeing you as the boss. You know, king or queen of wands. That's that energy, man. I'm telling you. And I just have Leo. So, you know, Taurus, Leo. Uh, one of y'all could be a Taurus. One of y'all could be a Leo. Uh, but someone was under judgment, and this person is seeing the writing on the wall. Like, somebody is seeing what is going on. Like, I'm hearing word for word, verbatim. Somebody knows exactly what's going on. And you have no idea the links that people went to to investigate this. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's shocking. Something is going to be very shocking. Like, I'm, it's like something you only see in the movies. But um, add insult to injury. So someone is seeing the writing on the wall about somebody just wanting to hurt you over and over again. Just to, It's like, you know, you got that open wound. You get a paper cut or something, and then you go put some hand sanitizer on there. You've forgotten all about that cut for maybe a day or two, and all of a sudden, there you go. You remember you got that cut now. Yeah. You get some jalapeno juice or lemon juice up in that bitch. Oh, you're going to remember real quick. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody wasn't sharp. They, they thought they were they were sharp as attack. They're under judgment because they thought they were smarter than everyone in the room. This literally is the calm before the storm because your ancestors are rolling over in their grave over what has been done to you. They have stood by and that, that enough is enough. I'm just hearing enough is enough. This shit is just, it can't go on. It cannot go on. This is not what you're meant to do. It's not how you're meant to be living. If you are in a shitty ass situation, your life was not meant to be this way. Never, 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 never. But, you know, everyone has free will. That's the fucked up part. Everyone has free will to go around fucking people over. And until somebody steps up, gets off their ass, and does the right fucking thing, and quit letting these cults and religious groups and organizations run communities and destroy people, innocent fucking people, families, children, nothing's going to get done until someone stands up and does the right fucking thing. Patience is a virtue. My God, I feel like whoever this is, you feel like you, your patience has done worn out though. You know what I mean? It's like you've been patient for, it's like everyone's always saying in divine timing, be patient, be patient. I know y'all are sick of hearing it. You're not the only ones. All right. You're not the only ones. If you've ever said a prayer about wanting discernment or patience, 
my god, you got your fucking wish, because you know how to be patient more than anybody else in this fucking world. Let me promise you. Someone's getting their wake-up call, and they're determined to do the work. Somebody sees that you're determined to do the work, that you're working your ass off or something. Somebody didn't get the silver lining that, you know, they thought they were going to get. You see the silver lining in situations. You have an attitude of gratitude. Uh, somebody still thought that something was going to work out in their favor because they're not very bright. And that's why they put themselves under judgment because they just wouldn't fucking quit. <clears throat> All right. Let's pull some letters here. Relax. It will be over soon because someone's getting caught covering up illegal activities. Okay. Someone got caught. Person, place, or thing. B could be significant. You. Buck. I'm hearing buck. Bucky. Someone could be a buck deer hunter. Someone could be a deer hunter. Bull. Oh, someone's nickname could be the bull. I know that was a TV show, I think. Um, that was a good show, though. Um, I kind of liked it. Um, F. You may see someone as buff or built. A. Eh? Someone might just be fluffy. You just may want to go hug someone because you think that they're just so fluffy. So fluffy, I'm going to die. Mm, someone's getting an axe. So someone could um, be getting fired. Getting chopped on the chopping block, you know? Okay. Hopefully not literally. <laughs> G. I'm hearing tenacious D. KG. All right. All right. All my ladies in the house say, yeah, yeah. Come on, you motherfucker, say a prayer. If you fight, you got to fight there. You motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. You know what time it is? Tenacious D time. You motherfucker. Go. Fuck yeah. B. So we got four, uh, three Bs. All right. <laughs> I'll do two more. I know we're getting these repeats. E. Last one. So, BBB, Better Business Bureau, could be significant as well. It can be investigating somebody. Uh, v, somebody could have tried to make claims to a Better Business Bureau. Uh, maybe you don't even have, like, a legitimate business. I don't know how this works. I mean, shit, y'all give me don donations. My shit's not monetized. Um, I get what y'all, like, you know, are generous enough to donate to me, and I appreciate you, and I love you, and I thank you for every, you know, donation you give me because, um, you know, you don't have to. And... You know, the fact that you even like what I have to say, you know, kind of blows my mind still sometimes. Shit, no. <laughs> All right. Um, when I first started this, I never imagined that, you know, anybody would want to hear my readings. So, um, thank you. I appreciate you very much. B-L-U-F-A-X-K-G-B-B-E-N-V. They could be significant, okay? Have a good night.